Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. <laughs> <laughs> For all those who want me to switch up my intro a bit, here we go. You can hear it's my dad singing. Can I be on sync to my vlog? My vlog wants to hear your voice. My mom was like, no, I'm gonna stop now. Farshad. Me didn't have to go to man. I just got to see the man. Concert at Farshad in London. In London. Did you like, 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 like? Did you film it or nothing? Welcome to a Saturday afternoon with my fam bam. I'm currently having. Callo mini rice cakes. So you want to share. So one is one. I was happen. like, um, no, not happening. This is Sol. For those of you who don't know, that's her feet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, there's gonna be weird no, foot comments. Yeah. I know that. Oh my god, so weird. I would have freaked out. Um, freak <laughs> so, <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, this is Sol. Sol oh, is I this weirdo who loves to chill at our house. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's my older sister. Guys, 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 guys. So Sol tried to convince us that she is ill. I am. But then she started shouting, Mom! Mom, come sit with me, Mom! <coughs> She's basically the biggest <coughs> mummy's girl that ever is in the world. Yes, <laughs> 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 She's cleaning up. <laughs> She's cleaning around me so that it doesn't look bad on the vlog. Mum, have you watched the vlogs while you were in Iran? The house was a state. You have no arbitral for Iranians who watch YouTube. So the story, the gist. It's Saturday, almost Saturday night. I want to go out, but I don't want to go out out like I don't want to go clubbing. This is dangerous. Every single time I've said this in a vlog, I end up clubbing. But I promise you tonight, I will not end up clubbing. I'll go out with my friends, but we will just stay local. Ice cream van. I do hear an ice cream van as well. <laughs> we will just stay local, and by local I mean we'll probably go to Shisha or something. Salt isn't allowed to come because she's feeling ill. I don't want this whole vlog to be me eating rice cakes, so I'll catch up with you guys on the side. If you shared, it wouldn't be the entire vlog you eating rice cakes. I'd have one. Honestly, I, I tried taking one. Sophie, they eat rice Alright, here, have it. Have it. Have it. Okay, you guys already know the drill. I'm either like late for something <laughs> or I'm like going to uni. So, yeah, I'm late for the gym and I don't have a stand yet. Yes, you guys, it's been like three weeks of me running to get one of those camera stand things. What's it called? Like a tripod. And I don't have one, so I've like piled up a few boxes on top of each other and. I'm just trying to do like the world's fastest fake makeup because I'm meant to be at the gym in four minutes and my trainer's gonna be not impressed if I'm late for the hundredth millionth time. Actually, to be fair, he just won't be surprised. Last week I was like early because my mum dropped me because she was going somewhere and um, he was shocked. I think he thought I had something wrong with me or you know, there was some sort of concern like why would she come in early? Also, my mum is going to tell me off for hunching in this video. If I sit straight, you're not going to see anything. So, we have to sit like this. Basically, I filmed the spicy noodle challenge yesterday with my family. And to tell you guys that, like... Also, I'm mixing... Let me just... 10 million subjects at once. And um, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundations in shades 5 and 9. All onto my beauty blender and dabbing it all over my face. Um, yeah, to say that my stomach was burning was an understatement. I don't know if you guys have ever taken... Um, tablets for like um, constipation but you know the next day when like the tablet is kicking in what's it called uh, Senna tablets when the next day they're kicking in and like you get this like worst stomach ache in the world um, that is what it felt like <laughs> this morning like it was the worst stomach ache in the world you know if you want to try out the spicy noodles I'm telling you guys our family love spicy food a lot but we couldn't hack it it was very very spicy also might get my hair cut later on in like a couple of hours if I do then you guys will see but I always get my mum to cut my hair um, she's the only person I trust and I've never in my life had my hair cut by anyone else My mum says when I was one she took me to Tony and Guy because I had eczema in my scalp And she wanted to make sure that it was like someone professional cutting my hair um, And they gave me like a boy cut 
um but no i've i don't remember like but that's apparently once but me personally remembering i've never ever had anyone other than my mum cut my hair she is the only person that i trust um to do it so yeah everyone else when you go to the hairdresser you're like can i have a little bit off and then they cut off your whole entire hair like you know that's not what little bit stands for to me in my opinion so and that is my two minute makeup andy his username will be across the screen but what are we doing today so we're gonna do some boxing uh, a little mini circuit as well mess up the legs a bit andy doesn't like to leave my legs feeling normal after no. a session he likes to let them feel dead after no. a session so but now we're going to mix it up, we're going to do a bit of boxing. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, work a bit of cardio, that's well. yeah. some endurance stuff. Yeah. And then we'll mess up the legs a little bit later. Yeah. Looking forward to all of this. You guys can keep up with it. Um, we'll record some of it. I just finished my training with Andy. I know the lighting was a bit weird, but I just wanted you guys to see we were doing something totally different that we don't usually do, so boxing. Um, we've done it a few times, but we haven't done it together in ages. As in, coming back from summer, it was kind of difficult because I got back 31st of July to start uni, um, and that's when my trainer started going on holiday. So I trained a bit by myself, but I was kind of like not 100% motivated because I'd been away for a month. So it's only been about a month that Andy and I are just starting to get into the full swing of things and I have a lot of fitness goals that I want to achieve. I'm just sharing them with you guys. Like I want to just be um, a bit leaner because um, all that comfort, comfortable holiday eating is obviously over. I like t to have really toned legs and I had really nice toned legs in my opinion for me. Right before I went away to Cannes, um, I think Cannes was my favorite like version like body wise of me so far as in I was just eating very clean I felt so healthy and I was working out like three to five times a week so this week I've worked out three times next week I'm gonna try and so last week I worked out two times this week I've worked out three times next week I'm gonna try and make it four times and then I'm gonna try and stick it four times a week I don't want to do more than that just because um, as you guys know I love to do other things and going to the gym and staying healthy is is one of the things that I love to do but I don't want it to be like take up every single day where I feel like it's a chore I feel like if it's like four days out of the week then it's something I look forward to but like you know anything more than that then I'd feel like oh I have to go to the gym but I just thought you guys should know I have fitness goals too so let's let's smash them together be motivated, let's do it together. If you feel like I'm slacking, if you haven't seen on my Snapchat, um, Sethi Samai, or my Insta story that I haven't been to the gym, feel free to DM me and be like, get your ass to the gym, or did you go to the gym? Because then I will be like, shoot, you caught me, and I'll go to the gym. <laughs> but yeah. Salt is being a Zana Zendegi, making a nice salad. Um, where's mummy? Popped out. I really wanted to get my hair cut. Um, you haven't asked what's in my Waitrose see. bag. So I just got these from Waitrose. Um, you guys, if you watch any of my other vlogs, you know I'm obsessed with the sushi counter at my Waitrose. So this is the spicy California roll, and this is the avocado roll. And I'm going to tell you guys my secret. I get Philadelphia, and I just put a bit all over on top of my avocado rolls, because then it will be avocado <coughs> cream cheese rolls, and that is my favorite. So this is what it ends up looking like, and I'm gonna eat this for lunch. I'm super excited. I'm always gonna do this. It doesn't really matter. I'm tried shaking it off. It's not working. Haters will hate. It is my cousin Farrell's birthday, and how cute! Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday! Happy <laughs> birthday! <laughs> um, so he's turning 21. 22. 
22. Yeah. 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 So we want to quickly take some pics with him before I have to go to a concert, which is so sad. Um, <laughs> but um, how cute does he look? He looks so smart. And this is his cake. And this is how we set the table. This is how we do our family birthdays. You okay. look so beautiful. So Soggy is Farabord's sister. <laughs> And she got him this cute cake. How cute is she? So yummy. I'm so excited. Um, like, I'm starving to eat it. I know. I wanted to blow out the candle so I can steal a slice. Oh We're FaceTiming uh, my Uncle Farshad <laughs> and Auntie Roya. I'll give him a salam to Uncle Farshad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's in family. <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. Roya Jun has a cake for Farwood in Tehran. How cute is that? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Last night I went to a concert and um, Behnam Bani, but that's its own vlog which I believe will be up before this, if not after this. So make sure you check that out too. It was very fun. Um, it was my first ever Iranian concert. Um, anyway, as you can see, it's still daylight on a Monday, which means that I'm not at uni, well, hospital yet. And the reason for that is this week at uni is PAU week, so Pediatric Assessment Unit. And um, it comes in like two shifts. And the shift that they recommend for us to go is from 2 till 10 p.m. So I've just woken up early and I'm going to do some more TLC for my skin. As you can see, if you guys watch my previous vlog, my skin has really like cleared up more. Like I had a huge spot on this side, I think it was. Or was it this side? I can't remember. But um, it's like completely like way better. As in it's only been like three, four days. And it's so much better. I've got this in my eyebrow. But I think it's from like plucking or whatever. Um, So yeah, I think I'm just going to keep taking care of my skin. I will film a separate skincare routine for you guys coming very soon. I'm probably going to use something... Um, that my mum gets from Iran um, so I've heard other people use it as well my mum gets it from this certain village and it's like really particular recipe and I am if I'm lucky she'll like have some left still from the last time she comes because when she brings it like all her friends take it from her and stuff so I'm just gonna scrub with that and then um, probably put like a face mask or something on top um, if necessary but I only scrub like once a week um, or maximum twice a week with this. Um, so yeah. Mom, Sefi Dab Yeah. Um, so this is what it looks like. And you basically break this in your hand, crumble it and scrub it on your face. But I'll show you guys in a separate skincare routine. I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like. So um, yeah. So I just scrubbed and now I put this face mask on it's a sephora one let me read what it is for you white clay mask and i'm just going to do some work with this on have a coffee coffee um in case you're wondering where that accent is from it's from new jersey because when i was younger i used to be obsessed with the real housewives of new jersey real housewives of beverly hills was the one you know if you guys love the real housewives trilogies those are the only two that i really switch oh and new york then I got older, had to study more, and it just went down to Beverly Hills. <laughs> and now, nothing. The last season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was just really not good. I just felt like there was no natural drama. Like, it all seemed staged because they were all getting along well. I think there's nothing wrong with people getting along well and you watching their lives because naturally, then they'll fall into drama themselves because even us like in our friendship groups and stuff I guess naturally there's always gonna be a little bit of drama but it doesn't become a big deal like it does on TV because no one finds out about it so yeah bravo producers if you need some insight from me here we go so I just got home hence the sunglasses still on my head and I went to Starbucks um, my orders in the winter, especially when I need it, wake me up, is a soya latte. And in summers, I love soya iced chai lattes. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoy my vlogs more. I love reading your comments, as you can see, because I pretty much respond to all of them. Um, like, as in, if I can't 
if I can't physically write something, I'll leave, leave a love heart um, for the like non-repliable ones. But I love them so much. So thank you guys so much for all your kind words. And my family give send their love to you all as well. <laughs> um, yeah, don't forget to check out my socials. They'll be linked down in the description. But my Insta is Persian Bunny. My Snap is Sepi Samai. And my Twitter is The Persian Bunny. Like this video. Subscribe so that we can have more fun together. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!